Good morning, everyone. Today we have our 1997 Brady White 272 Sailfish. It's powered by twin 225 horsepower E-Tech engines with just over 600 hours. I believe it's 615 and 617. We can uh, will download the uh, the engine readouts for you. But uh, that's what we got it before we purchased, we did that very thing. So anyway, it does come with the 225 counter-rotating engines, 200 plus gallons of fuel with a main tank and an auxiliary tank. This boat is pretty loaded for a 97, guys. It was retrofitted in 06 with the engines, and then in 2015, it received all new electronics, and I'll go over those when I get into the boat. But off the back, uh, Grady's 272 Sailfish, um, offers an integrated swim platform with a fold-down ladder, hydraulic steering for the engines, a walk-through transom door to get on and off the boat without climbing in, or if you catch a really big fish, you can pull it through there. This definitely has is an offshore boat and is set up to do offshore fishing. Boat comes with a hard top with ton of rod holders. It also has rocket launchers. Has a full canvas enclosure. Oh. Off the bow. It, uh, I was gonna hop on the boat, but I forgot to show you the front. Bow, we have a built-in uh, bow pulpit with a windless anchor, anchor locker forward hatch for ventilation right there. We also have cushions that go all over the front of this boat. All the encl enclosure is in, fin well, good shape. The glass is in good shape. The canvas has some wear, as you can see, but um, still in good shape, ready to use for a few seasons. But the glass is in pretty good shape. See-through, no major cracks or um, discoloring. Just some faded areas. Let's start the motors up. Off the back, we have um, full bolsters on both port and starboard, as well as a place to put your feet if you're fighting a fish. That's what these are for right here. Cotton rod holders down here. Huge insulated live well. Cushions for the back bench area for two people to sit in pretty good shape. Minor blemishes on the canvas, guys, but overall in good shape, not brand new. Triple batteries with three battery switches. There is no soft spot over top of the fuel cell, which is very common for this uh, gear. Uh, he probably, the previous owner probably got it fixed or, or he kept it inside a lot. Um, but all the hatches are also, which are very known to be uh, chipped up over the years. It's something that uh, happens on these boats, but everyone accepts it. These do not have that. Underneath of here, they are in great shape. Once again, it appears as though maybe someone had them addressed at one point in their life. Another great part about this uh, sailfish is you can step up into the cockpit so you're elevated. Let me turn off the windshield wiper here. Um, where do we start? Oh, let me turn the electronics on. Um, it has hydraulic trim tabs, windless anchor, it has analog gauges as well as digital gauges hooked into the Lowrance HDS9 unit, which I'll show you uh, in a sec. <clears throat> it has the color touchscreen HDS9 here with radar and GPS and fish finder. These, are, these units talk to each other so you can have <clears throat> anything you want on either screen It is what I understand by it. Um, you do not have to have one on one and you know like you can they're interchangeable the ICOM <coughs> VHF radio and a standard horizon VHF radio uh, it's a nice little option to offer 
um, you know, for the fishermen out there, really. But uh, analog gauges plus your digital gauges here, it's they're plugged in um, to the motors for engine readouts. You also have an AM/FM radio built into this as well. <clears throat> Let me show you the options here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, sonar, radar, chart. I don't know about the high, um, the independent, you know, steering hydraulic steering by itself or autopilot. I don't know if it has that. I'd have to look into that. But um, if you choose that, there's your engine readout for um, the the motors. We have uh, both port and starboard captain's chairs in good shape. Do have a little crack right here, guys. Nothing might major there, just someone's big butt probably landed on that on a rough day. Inside the uh, forward ca cabin and the V-berth, we have a headliner which is in good shape. No water staining or mildew or busty smell. We have the Grady White um, brochures as well as the manuals, I think, for the, both the GPSs as well. The V-berth has plenty of area to lay down or lay your gear in. There's also room for storage underneath each of these. Refrigerator. Uh, this used to have a stove in it. No one uses that, so they probably took it out. Uh, a little wash sink with a fresh water system. A little aft cabin with the, there are your forward cushions. They look like they've been replaced. Also in good shape down here, guys. Your shore power. Enclosed head with a pump out. A little window here if you want it. A little another sink. This is a, this is a great little Grady, guys. It's a 97. Pretty good shape for the year. And you got the newer motors. You can own this boat for a fraction of a new one. And it's already rigged up with all your fishing options and gear. Trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. This boat does have a lot of features. And uh, give us a call and we'll be able to go over all of those features. Boat tops out probably about 45 miles an hour. And cruises in the mid 30s. This boat does come with the outriggers, by the way, guys. Gary's going to open her up down the fairway here in a second. Remember at M&M Boats, we sell boats for less guaranteed. We encourage you to shop our prices. You can follow us on our YouTube channel or Facebook page. But remember, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you need to reference our website to make sure the boat is still available. We do leave the videos up for longer periods of time. Then we don't remove it once the boat is sold. Our phone number is 410 391 Thanks for watching.